Hello and welcome to the MCSD Public Education Awareness Report. I'm your host, Kimberly Wright, and we have an exciting show for you today. Whether you're a parent, a student, a teacher, or someone just simply who cares about the future of our community, you, you're in for a treat. Today our special guests are the Senior Director of Student Services, Dr. Michael Forte, and the Manager of Central Registration, Ms. Sonia Sheehan. A little later, we will, have, we will be joined by Dr. Shanta McClurklin Patrick, academic coach at Dawson Elementary and the creator of the Creative Writing Contest. So stay tuned, we have a great show today and we'll be right back after these messages. Some say e-cigarettes aren't dangerous. But science shows nicotine can harm teens' developing brains. No matter how they're exposed. Let's do an experiment to find out. Here's a team who won't be using e-cigarettes. Now we need one willing to risk their brain development. Anyone care to volunteer your kid? Anyone? I'm Dr. Vivek Murthy, U.S. Surgeon General. Your kids are not an experiment. Protect them from e-cigarettes. WIC is the Women, Infant, and Children's program that provides nutrition education, vouchers for healthy food, and even health screenings for your child. Qualifying for WIC for your children under five is based on your income and family size. To see if you're eligible, call today. Welcome back. We are talking to the Senior Director of Student Services, Dr. Michael Forte, and the Manager of Central Registration, Ms. Sonia Sheehan to give the community information on online registration and what steps parents and guardians need to take for registering their students online for the upcoming 24-25 school year. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Ms. Wright. Thank you for having us today. Thank you for having us. So I just want to know um, about online registration. I know the upcoming uh, date for, for it to open is April 8th. Right. So what steps do parents need to take to start thinking about registering their students for this upcoming school year. Right, so we certainly want to emphasize to parents to take advantage of early registration. Mm -hmm. This process was created with parents in mind from feedback that we received from the community. Mm -hmm. Parents, you know, the long, long list of paperwork year after year, so that cuts that away, but we do need for parents to take advantage of that. It's an online process, it's totally online. So what I would like to suggest to parents is that before you start the process, if they're new or old, make sure that you go in and you save all your documents. You know, look at what you need as far as our birth certificates, uh, lease agreements or mortgage agreements, power bills, et cetera. Please become very familiar with that so you can save those documents so you can load them back up. Parents, please make sure that we also need for them to <laughs> make sure they have their, their parent portal password in a very safe, secure place. Right. Do not, under any circumstances, share that with your children. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to make sure, because what that does, that delays the process. What we've recognized is that uh, parents are, are becoming upset and uh, frustrated with the process, but right. if you take advantage of now, let's look at this, March, April, May, June, and July and it's 24-7. Mm -hmm. And so we are now uh, implementing a, uh, applic uh, well, an appointment schedule. Mm -hmm. So we're not just doing walk-ins anymore. Of course, you know, uh, we still have help that's going to be available, but we strongly suggest that parents start with the school first. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Sheehan is conducting training for our secretaries at our schools, so they're becoming very versed and very knowledgeable about the online procedure. They're deepening their knowledge based on that. So we strongly, strongly recommend it. Start with the school first. Now there are going to be some occasions or there are going to be some circumstances or situations that we do basically need to step in at central registration. But most of the time, 90% of the time, 95% of the time, actually about 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, registration can be done at the school. Mm -hmm. And so we strongly suggest that parents start with their school and don't wait till July, August, start that process immediately as soon as it opens. So I remember a long time ago when mm -hmm. registration was just strictly paper and we right. would pull everybody from the building right. to come down and assist central registration. However, if a parent doesn't have access to a computer or mm -hmm. phone, Mm -hmm. uh, do they still start with the school first? Do they contact central registration, set up an appointment? Now, how does that work for those parents who are not what you call technically savvy? Yeah, yeah many schools mm -hmm. already have a system in place where um, 
the parents go in there through an appointment mm -hmm. and they will assist them through the online registration at one of their computers. Um, and or they can make an appointment with central registration. We have six computers available for parents to sit there and our staff will gladly assist them with completing their application, uploading documents, and anything, any other help that they may need mm -hmm. uh, as we're working through the online registration process. And so is online registration ongoing after April 8th? Is it ongoing up until what point? Yes. It's ongoing. Until we register forever. all students. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, so yes. All students are right. registered. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so every student in the district, whether they're current mm -hmm. enrolled students or new to the district, must have an online registration application because okay. it is part of the ver verification process as well. So mm -hmm. there's no uh, due date or too late to register after the school year ends. People can still register their student even after the school year starts. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say there's a due date or a late date, but okay. we certainly want our students uh, in their seats on day one. Mm -hmm. So in order to avoid that delay, we certainly request and we're certainly just, you know, uh, suggesting to parents that they start as soon as possible. Sooner is definitely better than later. Uh, I think now is a, a great time to do it. We're still in April and we still have all of May, so you can be done with registration and verification before school starts. Now, and I, I do want to emphasize this, we're talking about for the 24-25 school year. Right. So you can be done with that process on April 8th or April 9th for next year so that there will be no delays in your child attending school. So we certainly want children to be in school on day one. So you mentioned verification. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference? Verification yeah. day and registration. Yes, verification day happens closer to the beginning of the school year, okay. where the schools are going to verify, number one, whether you have an online registration application for your student or not. Right. And if you have filled out the electronic forms that are going to be sent through the parent portal to each parent, um, such as um, behavior contract reports, those types of things, those documents. They used to be 34 pages long. Mm -hmm. Now we're down to 15. Wow. Because of Progress. we've been able to um, bring, uh, make them electronic. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's helped parents a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So verification days to make sure that those items are in place. And if those items are not in place, um, verification is going to come to a stall for these families okay. because they will not be getting schedules, they will not be getting computers, they will not be getting all the things that the student was going to need to begin the first day of school. Okay, awesome. So we are excited right. about the 2024-25 school year. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to let the community know or the parents know before we end our session here? I do. Mm -hmm. If anyone was approved for a pre-K seat, a magnet seat, um, in order for them to maintain those seats, mm -hmm. they have to have an online registration application. Just because you completed a pre-K application or a magnet application, you will not be guaranteed if that online registration application is not in place. Okay. So that is something very important to know. And for those that speak Spanish, les recomiendo que complete su registración en línea lo antes posible, comenzando el 8 de abril. Y cualquier pregunta se puede comunicar con nuestra oficina en Central Registration. Muchas gracias. Also, if you want to enroll, on, please go to the Muskogee County School District website, go under the enrollment tab, and you will see online registration, and you can also apply for transportation for the upcoming school year. Thank you guys so much for attending and being on the show today and letting the parents know that they can register online and they can get started as early as April 8th. I greatly appreciate your time, and thank you for coming. Thank you, Ms. Thank Wright. You. Thank you for having us. Thank you, and we'll be right back. Some say e-cigarettes aren't dangerous. But science shows nicotine can harm teens' developing brains. No matter how they're exposed. Let's do an experiment to find out. Here's a teen who won't be using e-cigarettes. Now we need one willing to risk their brain development. Anyone care to volunteer your kid? Anyone? I'm Dr. Vivek Murthy, U.S. Surgeon General. Your kids are not an experiment. Protect them from e-cigarettes. WIC is the Women, Infant, and Children's program that provides nutrition education, vouchers for healthy food, and even health screenings for your child. Qualifying for WIC for your children under five is based on your income and family size. To see if you're eligible, call today. And welcome back. If you're just tuning in today, we have a very special guest. We are very excited to talk to Dr. Shante McClurklin Patrick. She is the academic coach at Dawson Elementary School and the creator of the Dr. Shantae McClurklin Patrick Creative Writing Contest. 
which awards students in grades K through 12 for their writing abilities. Welcome, Dr. Patrick. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm very excited and honored to be in your presence today. Awesome. <laughs> I'm just so excited that you decided to come and share your story with us. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name, as you just said, is Dr. Shantae McClurkin Patrick, and I am a proud educator for almost 30 years oh, with Muskogee wow. County School District. Okay. Yes, started right here, and I'm also an alum of, of, of Muskogee County School District as well. And I just um, love education, love all things about education and children and everything else. In addition to being an academic coach, mm -hmm. which is what I currently serve as, I also am a real estate agent. Awesome. Shameless plug all there. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, but I also do things with just education and children and women's outreach. Right. And so I just, um, I could literally list a lot of different things I'm involved Go in. But my number one, <laughs> my number one love okay. though is education and making sure that our children have as bright of a future as Absolutely. possible. Absolutely, and we greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. So you are the creator of the Creative Writing Contest. So tell yes. us a little bit about that. Is this, and what year is it? How can parents, just tell us a little bit information. What made you come up with this contest? Okay, awesome. So I love to tell this story when people have time to listen to it. I have a co-teacher co um, eight years ago, so this is year eight, we were in the gym on the treadmill and we both are trying to figure out how to get our children to learn to love to write because every time it was time to get ready to write something, mm -hmm. they would you know, moan and groan and everything. Yeah. And then I wondered, I was like, why did I enjoy writing? And I remembered that when I was in the fifth grade, I actually won a writing contest. Oh, wow. It was a good story too. Okay. It was about a light bulb that okay. could talk because it was an energy conservation oh, contest. Funny. Yes, I won a $25 <laughs> savings bond. <laughs> and you could not tell me that I was not, I like to say all that, and a bag of chips All right, and an oatmeal and cream bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that memory came up while we were in the gym and I was talking to her about it and I was like, you know, it'd be so cool if we could just, you know, not make them do informational writing, right. which that has its place. Mm -hmm. I said, but if we could just have them use their imagination because okay. what was happening was we as teachers, and, and this is a good thing, but we were giving them passages, having them read the passages, and then just only responding. We weren't giving them the opportunity to be creative, Aww. to express their ideas right. and everything. And I said, but they already don't like writing. What can we do? And right. so we kept talking as we were walking. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that is where the idea came from. It actually was wow. called the Integration Inspiration Writing Contest okay. at first because I wanted them to do the art because I was okay. working at Winton Arts Academy That's at that right. time. Okay. So. All right, awesome. So how often do you do it and how many years have you been doing it? So we do it once a year. It's okay. an annual contest, and this is year eight. I cannot oh, believe wow. it, but yes, this well, is year eight. Well, congratulations on year yes. eight. Awesome. Thank you so much. So let us know what parents can do to, uh, or even teachers, if you're working with some of the schools and some of the teachers, is it a, a district-wide contest where any of the students can participate, or is it just specifically for Dawson Elementary students? Okay, so that's an excellent question. So what makes this contest unique is multiple things, okay? okay? First of all, it's not just open to Dawson students. Okay. It is not just open to Muscogee County School District students. Oh, awesome. Actually, even if you are a homeschool student, you okay. can participate. So it is open to all of our students in Muscogee County and our surrounding counties, even our local um, Alabama school um, districts can uh, participate. Awesome. Again, if you are a homeschool student, you can participate. If you are a student in kindergarten through 12th grade, wow. you can participate. Now, that doesn't mean my kindergarten passages are competing against the 12th grade. We right. have winners in separate categories. But the other thing that makes this very unique is every single child mm -hmm. that just submits, that just submit, just uploads and click submit mm -hmm. will receive some type of prize Aww, and will be celebrated. That is wonderful. Yes. So I, I just truly believe, you know, when we have a celebration, which I can tell you about the information about the grand celebration, mm -hmm. um, we have that celebration and I get to meet all those students. They literally leave there not knowing that they didn't win. Aww because they come, they hear music, we're celebrating, we're like, time. you did a great job, right. the judges are there, they're shaking pom-poms, we're taking pictures on a backdrop, I and they're getting it. their gift bags, which I have wonderful sponsors now, it used yeah. to come only out of my pocket. <laughs> um, <laughs> shout out to Kia Auto Sports and WXTX Fox 54 awesome. for being our major sponsors in addition to lots of others this year as well, but every single child is celebrated just for their efforts. And so I go back to that day in the gym mm -hmm. and I can truly say 
say that I know that we are truly inspiring them to have a love for yes. writing because yes. they feel that love and then they can apply the technicalities of it. So let us know, tell us, talk to the parents and let them know how can they apply, where do they go, what do they need to do to get their students into this contest. Right. So everything you need to know is on my website. It is drshantemcclurkinpatrick.com. When you go there, if you go to the home page, you'll see a little pop-up box that says, are you here for the writing contest? You just click that and it'll go to year 2024. A few of the previous years will be there as well, but you wanna go to year 2024. All the information is there, all the rules, all the special dates, everything else is there. The judges, we have 20 illustrious judges who are there, our sponsors. The part you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down, almost to the very bottom, right above the official rules, and there's a button that says, submit here. And that's where you'll be able to upload via a Google form um, all of the information. So what has to happen is that student has to have some writing. It can be scanned. It doesn't necessarily have to be typed, but typing them does make them clear for us to see. And then also up to three drawings. So you can submit everything there. The deadline though is very close. Okay. So the deadline is April the 13th. That is a Saturday. Mm -hmm. April the 13th at midnight. Well, I think 11.59 p.m. Mm -hmm. That Google form will be deactivated and all of those entries will go out to our judges. They okay. will score them and then on April the 27th we are all going to the National Infantry Museum to have the great grand right and turn up. All right. All right. <laughs> and well. I said it like that on purpose, the right and turn up. <laughs> The writing turn up, the I'm sorry. The writing turn up. I <laughs> We're going to have fun. It. I love it. I thank you so much for coming on to the show today, and I appreciate the fact that you're doing all these wonderful things for our students, for all the students in the community, and how you give back to the community is a wonderful thing, and that's what this show is about. That's what I want this show to be about, not just about what we're doing here in the school district, but who we partner with yes. uh, in the school district. So I greatly appreciate you. Parents, you got all the information. We're going to help uh, Dr. Patrick participate. I mean, what did, what did you say? The writing turn up? We're going to participate turn in the writing <laughs> turn up. So thank you again for coming. And that concludes our show for today. I want to thank my special guest again for coming on. And thank you all for tuning in to the latest news and updates from our beloved Muskogee County School District. See you next time.